What's up everybody? It is Sunday, March 15th at 3 p.m. I am here to bring you a COVID-19 update straight from the trenches. We're about to be walking through my local grocery store together looking at what the end consumer what you are purchasing out of fear and what some would think is necessity. Um, now, do I think purchasing 700 rolls of toilet paper is a necessity? Absolutely not, but I'm a pragmatic and an optimist, and I would encourage all of you to have the same outlook on this situation, whether that's focusing on your family, on your job, um, on your loved ones, whatever that is. It's all about positivity. Keep the positivity high and you will make a much better and much more peaceful and serene experience out of this whole virus that is spreading around the world. So I hope you enjoy the video starting now. So I just finished up my workout at the gym local retro fitness. I'm feeling pumped. Just broke a crazy sweat, but I want to give you a little tour inside. The attendance at the gym, I go every Sunday to the gym right around the same time. So the attendance is about cut in half, but there's still people working out, maintaining their health, getting their bodies fit. So as far as the gym goes, it's, like I said, half attendance you can see here. You know, and really, your level of concern is based on the people you surround yourself with. So if you have a lot of people in your life with compromised immune systems, so those could be um, elderly people or young children, then really you should take the initiative to be a little more strict of where you go and if you're in groups of large people and washing your hands consistently. Um, for me, that's not really a concern. I live by myself. I have no little kids, no older people in my life that surround me. So I, I kind of live life a little more lenient, but that might be a different story for you. And something to keep in mind here too is I wash my hands right when I got into the gym. So anything I touch right away, my hands are already clean. And then I wash my hands after I left the gym. So anything I touch after the gym, my hands are sanitized and clean and also all of the gyms here they have um, spray bottles for sanitary options so as you can see here so you should definitely be spraying down your workout machine like so and just wiping it down so you're not getting the previous person's contaminants and of course there's no paper towels can I get some of these thank you sir it. So I had to travel a little bit for paper towels, but you just want to make sure you're wiping down these machines, sanitizing them, keeping them clean. It's pretty simple stuff, you know? Make sure you get the handles. The handles. And then this machine is, is ready to be worked out on, and then I'd wipe it off afterwards. And uh, just take the necessary precautions. You know, life doesn't have to stop. You can see here in the gym, there's still maybe half the people that are normally here. So people are living their lives. People are going out and doing stuff. So now we're about to take a trip to my local grocery store. I got to do some food shopping. We're going to see what necessities are there that I usually pick up. My normal weekly food shopping list is about 40 maybe $50. Just get the essentials, milk, creamer, cereals, yogurt, some, some fruit. Nothing great. So I just got this shake made and the woman making the shake put on a pair of gloves and had a face mask on. So that's reassuring to know that they're taking the necessary precautions to when they're preparing food to keep us safe. So that's, that's a relief. So we're about to slide into the shop right, right quick. Take a look. I'm going to try to get the necessities that I normally get. I'm, uh, I'm all caught up as far as like paper towels and toilet paper go. I have a few rolls, like enough to get me through um, a couple weeks, like what I normally have, like nothing fucking ridiculous. I'm not hoarding uh, paper products. We are right now, if you can see, we are at a ShopRite. So this is my local ShopRite. This is located in Northern New Jersey. I believe ShopRite has about 300 stores in the tri-state area. So they are a huge business. 
So my normal Sunday routine is wake up, work for four or five hours, hit the gym, uh, then I go food shopping for the week. Sometimes bi-weekly I go food shopping. But the parking lot is pretty par for a typical Sunday. There's not an exceptional amount of people here, nothing out of the ordinary so far. So we're gonna check out these racks and see um, see what the product availability is, you know? I don't see any face masks yet, but um, you can see already, um, so right here is where they have all the deals. It's empty, right? Right when you walk in the store, the shelves are empty. Look at this. I'm a, ba I'm a basket guy myself. It's got a dirty napkin in there. Get that out of there. I, I live by myself. I don't need to do a lot of food shopping, so. Everything looks pretty normal so far. So far, everything's checking out. Um, this is the fruit section. We got a ton of bananas, a ton of apples. Nothing's really, nothing's really changing over here. I'll give you a little panoramic view here. So looks like they're stocking up pretty well as far as the produce goes. I could imagine why, because produce is uh, perishables. So maybe people aren't concerned about perishables. Maybe they're not buying perishables. I know me. I'm going straight right where I always go first, getting some bananas. It's my uh, my morning ritual. Make a smoothie. Start my, my my morning off right. Get about six bananas. It's about a week's worth of smoothies. I'm ready to roll. So, yeah, produce looks good as far as produce goes. I think we're gonna see a huge um, decrease in availability once we get over to the soaps and the uh, paper products and the and the dairy um, and the water and stuff. So making moves over there. Next step for me, I'm gonna get some cereal. I don't cook much at home, so you're not gonna find me buying um, any protein as far as like meats. Cereal's empty. Look at this. Cereal aisle is straight train was ran on the cereal aisle. Look at this. the cereal aisle here. I'm gonna pick up some cereal for myself. Not, not many options in the cereal aisle. I'm looking for something semi-healthy. The sweet stuff I usually eat, it's usually a cereal. I'll go a little, like I'm a big fan of Lucky Charms, some extra marshmallows, I'll order them on Amazon. And always keep in mind, right, so these stores are empty, but a lot of these products you can find on Amazon. Now, when they're in stock on Amazon, they're gonna be selling out really fast. So you gotta keep an eye on these Amazon listings because we're, we're large Amazon sellers and some of the products we're selling seven, 800 units literally in five to 10 minutes. So the second it's available on amazon.com, it's sold out. I'm gonna get myself some Little Bites Frosted Mini Wheats chocolate. I like to eat these late night. Buying normal over here, so one box of cereal, like. How much cereal do I need, you know? I, I don't think I need more than one box. Looks like people are jumping on the syrup. So the more expensive syrup is still available, but the lower price, Miss Buttersworth, the ShopRite brand syrup, syrup, it's all out of stock. with this higher price stuff. You know, this syrup's $9, this syrup's $6. That stuff's all still available. So basically depends on how much money you want to send. Um, it looks like they might have stock these shelves last night I'm gonna say um, as far as meats go lamb veal beef Angus everything's looking pretty stocked up there's some empty shelves here but things are available here we are in the bath tissue section this is ridiculous look at this it's completely empty boxes of tissues I just I don't know I don't understand what people need you know 400 rolls of toilet paper for it just blows my mind so like don't be that consumer don't be that consumer who's buying 400 rolls of toilet paper like other people need toilet paper so you might say to yourself well I need 400 rolls of toilet paper right but really like do you need 400 rolls of toilet paper and if everybody thought like that if everybody says I need 400 that's why this aisle is empty, right? Because everybody thinks they need 400 rolls of toilet paper. 
Me, I'm not buying toilet paper. I have a couple holes in my house, enough to get me through a few weeks. So I, uh, toilet paper is not an option for me right now. Not because it's not available, but just because I don't need it. I mean, you should be thinking the same way, right? Distribute the wealth between other people. Even the plates, the plates are looking slim. They're not completely empty, but the, the plates are some semi-empty. Only because I'm so deep in the, in the industry, I understand what's going on right now. Well, people are like sad that they can't get their get their paper products. It's kind of ridiculous. So we're gonna keep walking around here. They're gonna check out some other aisles, some other necessities that people normally use. So most of the like this aisle, they got uh, light bulbs, bath accessories, foils and wraps. Let's check out the bath accessories. Actually, there's probably a uh, empty shelves down there. Light bulbs. Nobody cares about light bulbs. I don't know why. Just be mindful. That's. That's really all I can say. This is about awareness, right? Like, be aware that, like, there's no reason to clear out. Like, there's no reason. Like, what people weren't washing their hands prior to this COVID-19. Like, nobody washed their hands after they went to the bathroom. Like, how much soap do you really need? Like, uh, it, it really blows my mind. And it's interesting that you what you see left here is the it's the most the more expensive pride. Like Ecos, Miss Myers, those are a little more expensive brands opposed to like the Dawns and the Dials of the soap industry. So it makes sense that they're still here because people aren't willing to pay the premium. But look at this aisle. It's empty. As far as soaps goes and household cleaners, it's crazy. It's just, it's, it's unnecessary. Another aisle, what do we got here? Detergents. All the detergents, empty, look at this. You're good. Thank you. All the detergents, like, like all of a sudden people need to wash their clothes 45 times a day. I can't explain it. Like, be aware of your surroundings. Like, how much, how much detergent do you really need? I don't have a washer dryer in my house, so I value my time a little more than spending my weekends at a laundromat. So I prefer to pay someone to do my laundry. Um, here is the tomato sauce aisle. So these are non-perishables. Uh, makes sense that everybody's trying to buy a bunch of non-perishables. Makes sense to them. Makes absolutely no sense to me. So this is the, right here you'll see, this is the tomato sauce, pasta, sauce, instant potatoes, canned vegetable aisle, tomato paste as well. Yeah, so the tomato sauces are empty. This whole aisle's pretty much empty. All the pasta's gone. All the uh, instant potatoes are gone. All the box pasta is gone. It's ridiculous. It's, just, it's, it's sad. It's sad to think of, right now it's not a huge crisis, right? Like a couple of thousand people have passed away, yes, very unfortunate. But imagine something serious happened. Like this store would be empty. It's so unfortunate, it's so unfortunate. You don't have to live like that. So now we're making our way over to I just bought milk at 7-Eleven yesterday, so I don't need milk. But dairy looks pretty stocked up. Dairy's pretty stocked up over here. Um, the eggs are looking pretty depleted. Usually, usually the eggs are full. They're overflowing with the eggs, but not in this case. The eggs are looking a little depleted. Um, same with some of the hot dogs and sausages over here. See, they're kind of depleted as well. But honestly, I'm, I'm a little surprised. I thought there was going to be a lot less stuff. Now, as far as soaps and stuff go, those are completely gone. Paper products, completely gone. Canned goods, pastas, completely gone. Um, I'm going to just continue my normal shopping experience. So I always get two packs of these for the week. Um, I like to switch it up. Sometimes I go with some different flavors. Um, today I'm going to go with the strawberry cheesecake and then I'm going to go with something sweet, you know, it's still healthy but it's a little sweet, I still got a sweet tooth in me, I like eating really healthy um, and then I'll go with strawberry banana. So we got that. Now because I'm always on the move and I work like a madman. I usually pick up some uh, healthy choice, microwavable uh, meals, low calorie, 
decent protein amount. They're fast. I can eat them on the go. I do not have time to cook. If I eat an actual meal, I usually purchase it from somewhere else. So I'm just going to get three or four of these so just really to sustain. Um, you know, I don't not a requirement, but I usually take two or three to work so I have them so I don't have to leave in the middle of the day or I don't have to spend you know, 15, 20 dollars a day on ordering food. Um, so I'm going to grab a couple of these, just the same ones I always get, nothing crazy here. Thanks man, appreciate it. And the chicken look weenie. So this is what my, my basket's looking like. You know, nothing crazy. These are my, these are my go to's. It. The only thing in addition I sometimes have in here is a, is a gallon of uh, almond milk, low calorie almond milk, but other than that, that's all I need. The essentials for me, that's really it. Like, I don't, I, I really can't wrap my head around what people are like wiling out about. You know, now obviously this is shopping for, for one person, right? Like, I have some food Eight in my house from please, last week. Oh, I got some like please, snacks please, and stuff. Um, I don't drink soda or anything. Let's check out the bar soap aisle, see what this is looking like. But, you know, I don't have kids. I don't live, I don't have a live-in significant other. I don't have family that lives with me. So this is pretty much, I'm, I'm just getting the necessities here. Um, now, as far as the soap aisle goes, looks like all the antibacterial soap is gone. I'm still kind of surprised at the soap options here. There's still a decent amount of soap here. We got some Irish Spring, some Nivea, some Dove. Um, it really blows my mind. It's just like the, it, what blows my mind every time I go to one of these stores, like I can't even walk into a CVS or a Walgreens anymore because the amount, um, the, the price that these companies charge for this, like like just knowing the wholesale pricing on these products, like to see, you know, a Dove Sensitive Skin Soap go for $6.69, when I know I can get it for a fraction of the price. Now obviously I'm also buying a few Meat hundred Department units of it, so there's that, but it just, it really surprises me. Yeah, so that's it, I'm about to break out of here. I have my essentials for the week. You know, I picked up five or six items, everything that I need, We're over here in the tampon aisle looking pretty stacked up as far as tampon options go and pads. I'm a self-checkout guy. I don't know about yourself, but I'm definitely a self-checkout guy. The least amount of human interaction I can have, the better. So let's check out and let's break out of here. It's a pretty smooth shopping experience. I've got my Price Plus card. And now we will start scanning these products away. That's one bag done. All right, last two products. We got the little bites. Some a toddler. Now we got these bananas. Bananas. First of all, bananas are super inexpensive. I love eating bananas. One twenty-two. That's crazy. What is that? Six bananas. Twenty cents a banana. So here's my total bill here. So this is. Listen, I'm a single guy. I'm only providing for one person here. I might also eat out a fair share amount. But, like, let's be realistic here. Do you need to go to the grocery store and spend $600 for, you know, six months worth of shampoo, six months worth of antibacterial soap, five years worth of paper towels and toilet paper? Absolutely not. So please, be realistic. Be mindful of your surroundings. Be mindful of your situation. Do not go to these stores and overbuy. Here's my total. I'm one person. Let's say I had three people in my household, right? This would be 60 bucks here. And this is enough to get me through the week personally, based on my eating habits. Look at this. Twenty dollars and eighteen cents. Finish and pay. Insert cash or select payment type. And that's that. It's a, it's a rickety wrap. You feel me? All right, we're done here. So that's that. I, 
I don't get what's going on here. If you ask me, I think it's complete insanity that people are going to these grocery stores and filling up, you know, five, six, seven cars worth of groceries. I think it is ridiculous. And if you're one of those people, I'm not sure what your reasoning is behind it. So like, analyze your surroundings, analyze the situation. Like, there's no need to get six months worth of toilet paper. Now, let's be realistic about this. Makes absolutely zero sense. Paper towel hoarder or toilet paper hoarder in this time. Like, what are you even doing? Anyway, this was fun. I had a great time. I got the essentials. I'm about to go home now. Seven o'clock, I got a meeting, so I'm gonna go home, take a shower, clean myself up a little bit, get dressed, head out to this meeting, do some networking with some other like-minded individuals, talk about how much toilet paper they purchased, hopefully just a few rolls. And like always, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications. This is what we do. We post a ton of educational content talking about real life situations and how to grow businesses. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Stay lit.